first thing you do is you go to your um, website, uh, to your browser, your preferred browser, and please type in at the top lchsmusic.org. Okay. Once you're there, this will be the home page, and you'll scro scroll down to all sorts of information for this year's marching band season. All You'll see lots of registration forms, handbooks, field trips, all kinds of forms do need to be filled out, printed, and brought into um, band camp this week between 11.30 and 12. Sandy Miller and I and a few other parents will be helping out with uh, collecting forms and such during this week. So how do I register my student for uh, the band season? And this is what you'll do. You'll go here to the top to the registration form, click on the form site link here, and here is the form. Um, this is super important. Some students were born with gorgeous, fabulous legal first names of perhaps other languages other than English and Sometimes we get a little confused on our end, and we would greatly appreciate you including both the legal first name, because all of our names are fabulous, and then also please include the name that your student uses at school. Uh, sometimes rosters, class rosters, have those names versus what um, you might write on a check. So I know, just help us out here, this helps us a ton in our um, paperwork here on this end. So, so I'm going to register my student, Patrick. He's going to be a junior this year and he plays tuba. And he happens to be in band. You'll see that this registration form is for both band students and color guard. Color guard registration will be further down when you select the different pieces that you're paying for down here. Okay. But all students in the beginning fill out this, or parents, however. So I'll fill out Patrick. And then uh, he goes by this as well. And I can't spell my kid's name. Okay, thus, capital letters. And I'll type slower. I need to select his instrument, go all the way down to tuba, select his grade, and now his address. Okay, put in the city. This information helps us find you in case we are missing a payment or have other fun information to get out to you. But mostly it's, it's for follow-up on payment. Um, your email, please provide us with a, a great email that we can contact you with. I can't contact you up. And cell phone, so, mm -hmm. and here we go. So that's my information. This section, well, it's actually really, it may be a little confusing. We're signing up the kid. I provided my parent information. I'm not worried about that. So I'm gonna do a little bit rep repetitive work here. Don't mind this. I'm gonna put my name down. Uh, this is for parents, guardians, caregivers to let us know who we can contact in case of need. Um, cell phone again here and alternate phone by choice if you wish. Maybe you have a landline or a different cell phone as well. And email address again. Oops. And let's see. Are you willing to volunteer? Uh, just, you know, sort of, we'll contact you if you're willing to volunteer. That'd be super helpful. I'm going to put myself down um, there. Now, if you have a second uh, parent that you would like to include on this, you can. Um, sometimes it helps. So I'm going to go ahead and select Patrick's father, I'll write him in. Um, and you don't have to provide all information, but it, it is uh, helpful. I'm not gonna repeat the address. Oh, okay, yeah, if you live at the same address, okay. Da, 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 da. Then, uh, just for training purposes, know that I'm just gonna use a fake email, just, you know, I don't know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> at gmail.com. That's not really his email address, but I'm just protecting him. Um, and he's always willing to volunteer. So, we're band parents. We are not color guard parents, though I love our color guard parents. Um, so I'm, gonna, I'm focused on selecting for band. So Patrick's gonna be doing band camp for $150. The program contribution this year is $350. The transportation cost is 250. 
Band Uniform 65. It's my understanding my son does not need new shoes, but if you are a new parent, select this and um, Sandy Miller will be in touch with your student and collecting shoe sizes and making those orders for him or her. That is uh, how awesome Sandy is. Um, there's also an instrumental rental fee. Uh, so Patrick plays tuba, so we need to add the $200 fee there. Um, there is an additional student donation out of the generosity of your heart. We appreciate an additional donation of $200. Uh, again, it's not necessary, but super helpful in building a program, in, in um, maintaining the program. We love having reserves. It helps us tremendously. For now, I'll oh, better do that. For now, championships and uh, is to be determined. We don't know additional costs yet, and we'll get back to you on that. And if for some reason you are requiring financial assistance, please select this button, and um, there is a form to fill out for that. And Mr. Stone will be informed of those students who require financial assistance, and then he'll make the determination of what is going to be provided. For um, future consideration, please note that there is additional concert wear to be purchased, especially for the new students or any old former students who have grown taller uh, or what have you and need a different size. And those new students, um, concert wear is about $150 it looks like for the tuxedo and $60 for the dress. The other additional cost down the road is Disneyland. We don't know what that'll be. We don't know when that'll be. So please uh, be on the lookout for more information down the road. Certainly not in the next couple weeks. Same thing, just like I did up here for Patrick, selecting all the different things we plan on paying for. You will do the same for Color Guard, for your Color Guard student, okay? So once you're done, you're going to hit Calculate, and that comes up with your total. I personally am going to pay by check, but if you happen to be paying by PayPal, we ask that you add the two and a quarter percent on top of the uh, check fee, um, just to help us process. It's nice. If you choose to pay by check, please make your checks payable to LCHS MPA. Easy as that. You can mail your checks to LCHS MPA PO Box 1307, La Cunada, California 91012. That is our P.O. box and we check it weekly. You can also drop off these checks and registration forms um, to the black box in the corner of the band room under Mr. Stone's office window. And lots of students know where the black box is. Have your new students say, where's the black box? And 500 kids will tell you where it is. All right, maybe 200. Then, uh, so I'm paying by check, so I have to select here. This is something you have to select. And this will be so that we can um, determine and follow up. Um, if you select it by check, sometimes people select by check and they forget, quite frankly, to submit the check. And so we go back and um, send you a gentle reminder to please submit your payment. But please do so. And um, now I'm going to select next. At least I hope so because I think I've done everything correctly. Ah, and this is your order summary page. This page is very important. Please, please, please make a screenshot this and print it, print it out now um, and send this sheet in, send this screen in, send this in with your payment. So um, Charles thus happens to be my husband. He can then categorize each portion of the payment and know who's paying for what. And that helps a ton for us. So let's see, how do you do that from here? I'm just going to do a screenshot. Uh, on a Mac, you hold down Shift, Command, and three. And I've just done a screenshot and I'm gonna save it to my desktop. I think right now you can print this screen as well. And look at that. Go ahead and print that. You don't have to print it in color. You can go ahead, save some ink, select black and white, and hit print. Now, for training purposes, I'm not going to pay Patrick twice. I've already done his registration, um, and I'm going to then hit pay by check. I can hear it printing. This is really important. And this says, thank you for submitting the form. So 
if you've gone through all this, you have registered your student. Every student must be registered. It helps us. Then go ahead, submit your check payment either to the black box in the band room under Mr. Stone's window. It's really easy, has a little slot where you put the envelope in. Or um, mail it in to the address on the receipt here. 